On today's episode of History in a Minute, the Horns of Moses. Hey there, everybody. It's Mr. Philip Campbell with Homeschool Connections History in a Minute. I am your bearded, nerdy history guru. And this is a miniature replica of the statue of Moses by the sculptor Michelangelo. And you'll see on the top it has two horns. It was very common in the, the Renaissance and late medieval period to depict Moses with horns, and you might have noticed this before. What is up with the horns of Moses? Well, this goes back to a translation from St. Jerome when he was translating the Latin Vulgate. He was trying to render the Hebrew word that described Moses shining with glory when he came down from, uh, from receiving the Ten Commandments, and he used the Latin word cornuta, which can mean... Uh, can mean several things. It can mean horned, or it can also mean like rays emitting, like like beams shining off of your head. Going into the the Renaissance, artists looking at the description in the Vulgate uh, decided to use the literal translation of cornuta as horned with glory, and so they depicted Moses with horns to make him easy to identify in Christian art. So that is why Moses is sometimes depicted with these two horns on his head. So now you know, St. Jerome Cornuta. Okay, hey, if you liked that little tidbit of information, please subscribe to this channel, like this video, and remember, history is awesome.